Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in TLE 7 which is all about poultry housing and materials this will be the second quarter topic and learning competency number 12 this lesson is under the matatag curriculum For the objectives, by the end of the lesson, 80% of the learners will be able to First is to differentiate between the various types of poultry housing materials and their respective advantages and disadvantages The second one is to demonstrate the proper technique for constructing and assembling a basic poultry house using the appropriate tools and materials and the third one is to appreciate the importance of sustainable and environmental friendly poultry housing practices by answering the reflection lag. In activating the prior knowledge, the students are going to guess the magic words combining the two photos. Poultry housing is a shelter provided to feathered animals to protect them from the harsh environmental climatic conditions that can affect chickens' growth, performance, and productivity. The following are the types of poultry houses. The first one is the free-range or extensive poultry system. It is the oldest type of poultry housing where a small number of birds, chicken, are reared. So 10 to 12 birds per family of farmers. Free-range poultry housing requires less capital investment to construct. Another types of poultry houses is the semi-intensive poultry housing. It is common type of housing among small-scale poultry farmers. This system of poultry rearing is partly free-range and partly intensive. It is a more economical use of land in comparison to the free-range system. Another type of poultry houses is the folding unit housing. So this type of housing system, so poultry rearing is the same as that of the semi-intensive system. Here, a poultry house followed by a run where the whole area of the run is enclosed by wire knittings and the space requirement is less and the total poultry unit can be shifted from one place to another. So you will spend less in feeding the birds as they pick most of their food from the range. Another types of poultry houses is the intensive system housing. So it is the most efficient, convenient, and economical system for modern poultry production with huge numbers. So commercial poultry is applied in this poultry housing system. The following are the types of intensive poultry housing. So the first one is the deep litter system. It is a widely used by successful 
poultry racer, so known for other terms as chicken coop. So the floor of the chicken house with beddings or good litter materials. A good litter material for your poultry farm could be straw, so dust, or leaves to the depth of 2 to 3 inches. So there is easy access to feed, water, and egg collection. Another types of intensive poultry housing is the slotted or the wire floor poultry system. Poultry houses can be constructed on the treated wooden piers of 0.8 to 1 meter above the ground. This system allows a lot of ventilation into the house and is easily for removing chicken droppings. It is easy to collect manures as the chicken droppings pass through the openings of the wire floor. The chicken house is cleaner with better sanitation. Another types of intensive poultry housing is the slot floor cum litter system. It combines both features and advantages of the slot system with that of the deep litter system. It has slots on either sides of the house against each other wall, leaving the central portion for the littered floor. The water and feeding trough for this system are placed on the slaughtered area so that waste can drop to the floor through the slots. It also has drinkers and feeders in the litter area. This housing system is actually good if you are producing broiler or going into the production of eggs for hatching. Another types of intensive poultry housing is the multi-tire housing system or the aviaris. It is considered the best non-cage alternative to cage system for large-scale egg production. This is because it allows the housing of large flocks ensuring excellent production results and low mortality. The spacious characters of the aviary provides living space at several levels. Approximately 18 hens per square meters can be stuck on the floor surface. Another types of intensive poultry housing is the cage or battery housing system. It is the latest system of poultry burying. The breadth and the height of the cage are 1 foot and 1 percent foot respectively. And the length depends on the number of birds to be kept in the cage. However, it is better not to keep more than 10 to 12 birds per cage. The birds are confined in the cage just large enough to permit limited movement and allow them to stand and sit comfortably. Perches are horizontal and vertical pools installed as resting place for poultry animals. It should be provided, especially during summer, to keep animals cool and comfortable. Another poultry material is the feeding trough. It is a long, narrow container made of plastic or metal used to hold food for farm animals. Another poultry material is the waterer or drinking trough. It is a man-made or natural receptacle intended to provide drinking water for poultry animals. Another poultry material is the dropping board. It is the area found below the roast bar in the chicken coop. It helps by collecting the manure and keeping it contained so that it is easy to remove after a chicken has shred its droppings. Another poultry material is the check brooder. It is the equipment used to provide warmth and light to rear the baby chicks during the first few weeks of life. Another poultry material is the poultry transport crates or cages. It is suitable for transporting a range of poultry and is ideal for use in both commercial and small-scale operation. It is easy to clean and maintain, making it a cost-effective and practical choice for poultry farmers and transporters. Another poultry material is the nest. It is usually more or less circular structure of twigs, grass, muds, and etc. It is formed by a bird, often high in a tree, as protected place in which to lay and incubate its eggs and rear its young.